guys. Oh my gosh, I am so flattered by my own beauty. Hey guys, what did you do? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jola and I'm back again with another video. As you can see today, I have a different look. I'm looking rather astonishing. <laughs> Seriously. Blonde hair gang. Giving you life. Giving you cuteness overload. Like... Who wanna play with me? Come on, sis! Blonde hair is a look! It is a look! Like, period! Look at me! Like, you know just wanna eat me? Chocolate! In the, in, in the skin and in the hair! Like, come on! Come, come on! Standing a round of applause, please. I cannot be looking this pretty for no reason. Anyway, yes, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I colored this hair it used to be a dark brown or black this is what it used to look like and now it is like this and i'm basically going to be taking you guys through the process although i'm not going to be showing how i made the wig and i'm not going to be showing how i styled the wig I'm basically going to be showing you guys how i colored this wig how i bleached it and how i colored it to give you what it is now if you're new to my channel Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the right next to you so you're going to spend whenever I post new videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to share this video. And without further ado, baby girl, you like how I look, period. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, so these are the things you will need. You will need the Carol BW2 powdered lightener. This was $10 as you can see in your screen. You will need the Carol cream developer that says 40 on it. This was $3.29. You will need the hair dye brush. You need a bowl and you need some foil paper. So you guys, first things first, make sure you cover whatever area you are using. I use trash bags. I tape them to my slab. I forgot to do that before starting so yeah then I put three spoons of the powder lightener into a bowl sorry I made it four also make sure you have gloves on guys I forgot to later on I put it on then you add the cream developer you add it onto it gets to this texture I will show you what texture I mean it has to be like thick but not too thick and not too smooth so you just keep adding it until you get the texture. down and I put my wet on the pore paper make sure the pore paper is warm enough then I start applying my mixture here it was a bit too thick so I went back in with the developer and I put little in it so guys this should be the texture as you can see it's just a little bit thick not too soft this is what you want to achieve with your mixture anyway i just put that onto my weft make sure it touches every strand of hair on the weft make sure that it is thorough everywhere it's covered you need to turn the weft around and do it at the back also also you can cover the dog tracks of the weft also make sure you get everything covered because if you not some areas will be and that's
used at the start wasn't so much i put another piece and i used that to cover my hair and i folded it basically you just want to fold the hair in fall because fall is a conductor of heat it is going to help the bleach settle into the hair more because this gets hot after a while like if you put your hand on the fall paper it is very hot because it's chemical so just keep doing the same step on all the rest of the hair and yeah basically on the hair you have to make sure it is on every strand from the roots you can also bleach the front the frontal or the lace closure make sure that the bleach gets to the root of every strand guys like you can actually take a rat tail comb and start patting the hair i was using the brush to make sure it goes into as you can see the brush is really going in so make sure you get on every strand of hair or else it's gonna be really not nice so make sure every strand of hair is covered the bleach and then fold it up I go ahead to wash the air. I'm first of all rinsing out the chemicals, then I'm taking my shampoo from pink, I think. And I'm washing the hair, then after that I am conditioning it and then I rinse it out. So this is the color I got after the whole bleaching process. Days after I started I decided to dye it. So I took the adore dye in the shade only brown hot water and I'm just gonna put that in the so I'm using the hot water method to dye this one. So. I just put the hair in when I start the order and I make sure that it is completely soaked in the dye water. Every part, especially the frontal, make sure everything is soaked in the water. So I set it for 20 minutes and I let the dye settle into the hair and after that I rinse it and wash it with conditioner. So I don't use shampoo because shampoo just dries the hair so I just co-wash it basically. and after that I dry it so I will always advise you hair dry your wet your weaves you shouldn't blow dry it because I tried it a couple times and it just left my hair really tangy so I would advise you to hair dry it guys um i hope you enjoyed this video without further ado we have gotten to the end of the video see ya kasha later boo 
Kindly check out my previous videos by clicking one of the icons you see on the screen. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the bell right next to it so you get notified whenever I post new videos. Also, comment down below your social so you get a chance to be shouted out in my next video.